Welcome to this video on vasectomy reversal. My goal in this talk is to discuss how many sperm are needed for pregnancy. I'm Dr. Ryan Flanagan. I'm a urologist and microsurgeon in male reproduction. So following your vasectomy reversal, we typically monitor the outcomes as the connection is healing by performing semen analyses. Sperm typically re returns to the ejaculate between two and a half and four and a half months after the reversal. And we continue to monitor perhaps every one month or every two months, the semen results to determine if it has worked and if so, by how much. We typically look at these results and we compare them to normalized standards, our reference ranges that we can determine are these normal or are these abnormal. So the standards that we typically look at are the World Health Organization 2010 standards that basically tell us of all the parameters that we look at on a semen analysis, what are our thresholds that define normal versus abnormal? So a quick note on how they arrived at these. They took thousands of healthy men that achieved a pregnancy within 12 months of trying. They then looked at the lowest fifth percentile of the values amongst this fertile population, drew the lines there, and then assigned those values as the lower limits of a normal cutoff. So as a result, what we have is the volume of semen, one and a half cc's or milliliters as normal or greater, sperm concentration of 15 million sperm per one milliliter, total motility of about 40%, total motel count of 9 million, and normal forms, meaning that the shape or the morphology of the sperm are very perfect because uh, we use strict criteria here, are 4% or better. However, if we look at men that can achieve pregnancy following a vasectomy reversal, and we look at the same distribution again, and we draw a line at the lowest fifth percentile of results in men that achieved a pregnancy after a vasectomy reversal, we see that the numbers are actually quite a bit lower, meaning that the results after a vasectomy reversal don't have to be as high as the general population. For the most part, we think the rationale for this is that most of the men that are undergoing a vasectomy reversal and had a vasectomy in the first place had a pregnancy or more than one pregnancies. And we know that all of the other factors involved in these sperm that we don't necessarily measure are capable of making a pregnancy. So if we look at the specific values here, we see that the volume is nearly half of what the normal reference range is just under one milliliter. The sperm concentration of the lowest fifth percentile is five times lower, 3.5 million sperm per milliliter. And the total motility is also significantly lower, just less than 5% compared to the 40% in, in the general population. So the total motel count, so this basically is a, a measure of the total number of sperm that are moving within an ejaculate is just under 1 million. And we don't even need any uh, normal forms or perfectly normal sperm in the ejaculate to achieve a pregnancy in this group. If we look at spontaneous pregnancy rates uh, based on certain thresholds, if we look at a motility less than 10%, so remember 40% and greater is normal in the general population. So less than 10% is actually quite low, but over 20% of the men in this group after vasectomy reversal led to spontaneous pregnancy. If we look at the total motel count, less than 5 million, this is a classic threshold that we use as a lower limit that we can perform intrauterine insemination basically where they take the semen, they wash it, and they can inject it into the uterus of the female partner to try to get a pregnancy. So that's the relevance of this 5 million total motel count. But if it's less than that, which is a pretty low number, uh, nearly 30% of couples had a spontaneous pregnancy in this group. And again, normal morphology, less than 1%. We like to see 4% or better in the general population. About 15% of couples had a spontaneous pregnancy here. So in summary, vasectomy reversal is an excellent option to regain fertility. Sperm concentration, motility numbers don't typically need to be high after a vasectomy reversal as a general population to achieve a pregnancy. And there are always exceptions with all of these things, 
but on average, this is certainly the case. Working with a microsurgical fertility expert will help you and your partner arrive at the best treatment options to move forward with and try to gain a pregnancy. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more information, feel free to visit my website or the YouTube channel listed here and my Twitter handle below. Thanks very much.